Greetings, family. Welcome to Spirit Knox to Brooklyn Mosaic. I am on today because I want to discuss something that I discovered last night. Um, it was a little disturbing, but I realized that God has given me this gift for a reason. And so I felt it necessary to let you all know um, the kind of work that I'm doing and what I will be doing. So last night, I was doing some research. I told you all I was going to come to you with more information about these uh, firstborn rituals because I've always wondered when people assault children, like what kind of mindset is that? Like what would make a fully grown adult think that they could penetrate an infant? something that's not developed. So with that came the first, firstborn ritual that I told you all about that my family partook in with their firstborns. And it is my belief, because I can only speak for what happened to me, because no one else has come forward, right? They know our family did this. So they quiet, because they probably been benefiting from the money. Ain't nobody talking it. But it's cool because I'm going to do all the talking and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. When I said towers are going to fall, this is where my research is taking me. So I wanted to know where did these priests, my family members, get this notion that this was something you could do and not cause damage. And if you did cause damage, it would be minimal. Maybe a tilted uterus, right? Or infertility problems or um, difficulties during childbirth. Some people don't think those are major problems for a woman, but they are. Like they affect you psychologically, but that's a whole nother story. I'm like somebody, there had to be one man that said, I'm going to do this and I'm gonna share it with the rest of these demons. I figured out who it was, y'all. I figured out who it was. And you know what's crazy? This method that this man came up with is used internationally as a method for people to get in alignment. Can any of you guess the name of it? Because I don't even think y'all know the name of this. <sighs> Moisha Feldenkrais. It's called the Feldenkrais Method. And I am going to, y'all know I hate to do this. Like, I don't like naming demons, sex demons, evil spirits, low vibration people. I don't even recognize them. But this right here. I got to call it out because I think that everyone that's using this method across the world, they need to be going back and doing some volunteer work with disabled people, with abused children, finding out who his patients were and doing the research because I saw a video and it was clear to me that this man had abused, abused the patient that he was working on. And I could see it on him because I can see energy. I see in his face, in his eyes, his hands, and I could see it on the child that this was one of his victims. And people was just sitting there like, oh, you're such a great doctor. Oh my God, look at your work. And then you bring God's name into it. No. God don't support that. So I'm going to put the name below so that you all will know who I'm talking about. He's a demon. He is a man that was possessed, possessed by a Jezebel spirit, a sex demon. Okay. And I said to myself, okay, you know what? I've seen what I've seen. I'm upset about this. Let me just keep doing my research and make sure I'm not falsely accusing, but I know what I see. What I see is God's gift. So I shouldn't even be questioning that. 
I like to do my research because that's the kind of person I am. I don't make up stuff about people. I don't follow what nobody else has to say about them. I have to know for myself that my experience with that individual is what has led me to the conclusion that I have. Because the only one I answer to is God. And if I'm misjudging somebody, God is going to look at me like, that was one of my children. How you moving like that? Okay? So that's a lesson for somebody. So I do my research and I come across a video. And guess whose video was that? Somebody from our community who is considered a sex offender as well. And guess what? The same demons that I saw on this moisture folding crest is the same demons that I see on this individual from our community. Let me show you who it was. That is R. Kelly. I don't know if y'all can see the darkness around his mouth and um, around his eyes. I see the demons in that. I see the code of his offenses and I can see what he did. Okay. So I said to myself, okay, you don't need to, the only difference is that this man probably went, I believe he's dead now, right? Cause this was somebody in like the forties, the sixties, and he was pretty old then. We talk about somebody in the sixties that was an old man. So this man created a legacy on molesting, abusing, sexually abusing, disabled children and adults because they couldn't speak to tell anyone. And who knows how many normal children he might have gotten his hands on, acting like it was in the version of experimentation for this practice. Mind you, there was no noise. Y'all see how the noise starts to come when you start let, letting them demons out and telling people about the devil? Because don't nobody want to hear about that. But I'm telling y'all, the difference between this individual, or Kelly's in jail, and they probably still don't know all his offenses, but guess what? I could tell you all his offenses. Now they playing music. Now you know if I have music in my video, I can't, right? So y'all know I'm going to wrap this up, but y'all got the message. R. Kelly and Moisha Feldenkrais are sex offenders from the same sex demon family. They come from that pack of wickedness. And the, the deviant stuff that they do is because there's an evil spirit on them, okay? So I'll be doing more about this. Like I said, I'm going to put it in a link. Y'all look that information up. And look at these techniques these people are doing. They moving like babies. How could they know the flexibility of babies to that extent unless this man decided this is what he needed to do to get them into alignment, okay? Remember that, y'all. We'll talk soon. Blessings.